a migrant robbery ring plaguing New York with suspects getting away on scooters. Police saying they're looking for the ringleader. Fox 5 New York's Lizette Nunez joining us now with the latest from one police plaza. Lizette, good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, and this was a pretty sophisticated robbery uh, ring, I should say. Now, I did check in with police this morning who tell me they have arrest warrants for three other individuals, and they believe others were also involved. About far too often, people getting their phones or purses snatched and dragged to the ground as suspects speed away in scooters. Last night, two suspects were arraigned in part of an organized migrant robbery ring, with more expected to be arraigned. One migrant was held on a $10,000 cash bond bail and charged with six counts of grand larceny. Another was granted supervised release because his charges were not bail eligible, but was still held due to an arrest warrant in Queens. Police are still looking for the ringleader, 30-year-old Victor Parra from Venezuela. Investigators say Parra would send out messages via WhatsApp telling the group what to steal. They are nonetheless preying on New Yorkers and making our city less safe. Yesterday, in his annual trip to Albany, Mayor Adams signaled that he's open to issuing an executive order allowing for the NYPD to notify ICE about migrants who commit dangerous felonies. That is something we would love to entertain and to look at. In 2014, the city council passed a law that would place limits on how the NYPD can cooperate with ICE. Adams says it would be up to his legal team to see if he could overwrite this law, but agreed that migrants who commit serious crimes should not be allowed to live here. I believe if you create repeated felonies in our city, the federal government should do its job and have that individual deported from our city. And investigators have referred to those individuals connected to this ring as ghost criminals. And the reason for that is because they are hard to track down. A lot of them don't have social media. Investigators have gone on to say that it has been challenging to confirm their actual names as well as their date of birth. That's the latest here from One Police Plaza. We'll send things back inside. Lizette Nunez reporting their very detailed report. Lizette, really quickly, I want to ask you, you know that migrant situation out in New York City, an ever-going problem for many of those in um, politics. But I want to ask you, with these robberies now occurring, are many people on edge? I think people are more vigilant, just it comes with living here in New York City. Um, but one thing we have heard from police is that they continue to work to make those arrests. So hopefully this case comes to a close soon. Lizette Nunez with Fox 5 New York. Lizette, we always appreciate you joining us here on Live Now to keep the viewers informed. You enjoy the rest of your day.